boy. Hold up, let me like the vid for my boy. Let me like it. Let me like it. Let me like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's always love. It's always love. All right, bro. Peak. Unpopular opinions that need to be said. By the way, this is a part two. If you want to go watch part one, Whoa. create a playlist because this will become a series. It's not wasting time. Let's go ahead and get into it. Number Let one. Let me hear yours, bro. Taylor Swift's music is mid. No, that's facts. No, I completely agree. 100%. Go ahead, bro. Go in, bro. That's facts, bro. I have a hundred percent back you on it, bro. In my opinion, her music is bro. She's a cult. She's not really funny, so I don't know what she really brings. Now that's a good question, bro. Like, what did what did she really do, bro? Other than sing, bro. You don't really know nothing about her, really, bro. She's just some random. I gonna say random, but she's just a regular white girl, bro. If you keep it a stack, bro, like. She don't even she don't even be staying in Kentucky for real, bro. That's a crazy fact, bro. She go she stays in Kentucky for like a few hours. Hops right back on that private jet, goes right right back to LA, man. Don't even stay in there, bro. She's wasting gas, bro. She's causing the fucking uh, 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 air pollution, bro. To the table besides music, and also most of all. She's not a good performer. Oh, what the hell? Like, have you ever oh. seen some of her concert footage? Like, I'm, not, like, I'm, not, I'm, like, I'm truly not. Oh, bro. Like, I'm truly not trying to hate on her. I'm not trying to get on her ass. I don't know this woman, but like, bro, she has the fucking rhythm. And then, not to mention, her fan base is fucking horrible. It's like, toxic. Honestly, very toxic. Very toxic. So but I mean, I, I go for like. Nah, it goes. It really like. She's like her her fan base is like neck and neck with the bars, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The bars, bro. The Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj community, bro, are purely psychotic. Not, not gonna lie, bro. You hop on Twitter right now and you say, "Oh, Nicki Minaj buns full of plastic." They gonna come at your DMs. They gonna come at your. They gonna come at your. Yo 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 yo. They're gonna try, they're just gonna do they're gonna harass you, bro. It's over with, bro. It's gonna be over for a, for like a solid day. You know what I'm saying? Or a week, depending how bad you said it. Many people like her in the first place, but her fan base is actually like a cult following, bro. It, it's worse than fucking Beyonce's, bro. Like if you ever dare it's even not that. Beyonce's not that. criticize, not even criticize, uh. just critique Taylor Swift. I am telling you right now, you will be getting like fifty thousand hate. I'll keep it a hundred though. 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 I've never sat down and played a Taylor Swift album. But I'm not gonna put myself through that misery, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Cause I know I'm gonna fall asleep. Like at the third song, how you should commit suicide and probably like five. But she did have hits though in the back of the day though. Like she did have hits. I ain't gonna give her that. I'm gonna give her that. I don't fucking know. Like you wanna know something crazy that I still Should've think been. about to this day? Kanye West dead ass got canceled. Like straight up blackballed for simply going up on stage. Was I? Was I ain't gonna lie. That shit was kind of wild. And telling Taylor Swift that the she was crazy the too. Award she got and. Next can crucify this but was he wrong though let's be honest was he wrong though y'all let me know in the comments who would have thought it was a class rally in america the way they was <laughs> that's wow you did that shit to someone like coy larray nobody would even better ah and i would understand the fan base if I mean, it's Coy Ray was good but like honestly that shit's mid as fuck. i don't even know how y'all niggas listen Hello. to that shit and when i say it's mid i'm mainly talking about her new shit because back in the day i'm not even a lot hey hey was i said it bro that's what i'm saying bro she had she had hits you know what i'm saying are you on now all right after this video i'm about to hop on after this video i'm gonna hop on i got you bro Bad blood, our soul. Like, she had some bangers back in the day. I'm not for the lot of you, bro. But now her shit is just a mix of country and pop. And, and, and but that's what sells, mean. though. I'm sorry. I that's what sells, though, bro. I seen her right here do like a, like, I could be wrong, bro. But I think she fucked around and did like a mill in a, like, in a week. Like, in her first week or album sales. Like, she did a mill. I was like, bro. In this era, like in streaming era, bro, you did a mill first week. That's insane, bro. But I think she has, she sold like vinyl copies too. So like, I guess that added on to it. So I should have natural bias to this girl, anyways, because I live in Nashville. Which, by the way, if you don't know, 
Nashville, Tennessee is just white Atlanta. And what I mean really? by this, just how Atlanta is the black American culture spot of the fucking world, Nashville, Tennessee is the white American culture spot of the fucking world too. Mm. Atlanta got trap music, Nashville got country music. Atlanta uh, got robbing and killing, Nashville got beer drinking and chair throwing. Just how every black person in America wants to move to Atlanta, every single white male bro, and I ain't gonna lie, bro. The more you're talking now, I'm starting to hear the accent. Like, I'm starting to hear the country accent that you're... For some fucking reason... You might be Nashville as fuck, bro. Tennessee all of a sudden. God damn God. Ah, ah, $400,000 for three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Like, what the fuck? Type Besides shit. that, no offense to Taylor Swift. I mean no harm by anything I said. And to all the Taylor Swift fans, here's my long listed apology letter because i already know i'm probably gonna get like fifty thousand dislikes on this video bro you they straight bro you straight bro they not they not like that six five they not, they not about to like that bro they straight you straight you straight, you straight, you straight. number two ig reels is better than tiktok Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. bro that's a that's a that's a that's a crazy take, brother. I'm not gonna lie. That's a crazy take. IG IG reels over TikTok though. Ah, uh, less restrictions. That that's true. That is true. But like sometimes TikTok has like those bangers though. You can't even lie. Like they have some. They got some strong ones, bro. Not gonna lie. But they get corny kind of fast though. So it's uh, mmm. Let me let him cook though. Let me let him cook though. I see his point though. Maybe. Actually, no. Nah. Maybe. Maybe. Because I laugh more than uh, IG Reels more than TikTok, this honestly. Year, I would say TikTok blew IG Reels out the water. But the run that Reels has had in 2024 has truly just been generational. And it's really just because IG Reels is just so much more unfiltered, bro. Like, the amount of fucked uh, up well, that's so fucked. That's so crazy. Reels that's so crazy. Like, if you go to my IG, I literally reacted to a video of a 12 year old girl that could catfish some people. I'll just say it like that. But this shit got like 8 Whoa. million views. Hey! Like, what the hell? And that's kind of what I'm talking about. Like, IG Rose is just unfiltered. Like, I've dead seen a nigga get his head cut off on there. I've seen plenty of people die. I've seen a lot of special needs kids. <laughs> GG's bro. And just so yeah, many memes and just bro. funny shit. Like I just clips, bro. And the best part about reels to me gotta be the comment section. No, no cap. The comment, the comments do make, the, make it do make the video ten thousand. I can't even care. I can't even care, bro. That's real. That's Reels real. conversations are the funniest conversations. Like, I'll run to the comments show. literally right like, after I see the vid, bro. Just so unfiltered and just so fucked up, bro. Like, it could be a wholesome. Like, it could be. No, no, no. Facts, though. It could be like some some white kid doing a backflip. Shut up, wigger. Go do your homework, little nigga. Just put, the just put the fries in the bag, little nigga. Shut up, little nigga. It's just hella little niggas, bro. Like, I swear, it's just, it's just hilarious, bro. Doing good on a homework assignment. And then all the comments will be something like, you're stupid, little nigga. Stupid Shut up, little nigga. nigga. I'm coming for that ass, little nigga. And then they'll just list this kid's IP address, his full name, his mama's name, his fucking address, and his goddamn social security number. Like, how the fuck IG Okay, really I got real true. too quick. Peace too quick. Man, bro. I love it. I ain't gonna lie. As of 2024, I feel like it's better than TikTok. Another mm. one for the hypebeast community is team number three. Expensive clothes doesn't equal fashion. Would y'all suck a dick to save y'all barbs? Bro, come on, bro. Come on, bro. You got me again with this clip, man. Move, bro. Move, bro. So go follow the Twitch. Bye bye, little oh, nigga. Bro, I'll tap in though. Niggas son. are just straight middle schoolers when it comes to fashion. I think by just wearing the most expensive shit, that bro, just automatically go. But eat. look though, but look though, but look though. Okay, okay. I see your point, but we don't make the fucking prices, okay? We don't make the fucking prices. I'm not look. For me, not to look like okay, 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 okay. I see his point. You don't gotta you don't gotta spend like fucking a thousand dollars on an outfit the whole time the outfit looks trash, you know what I'm saying? You don't gotta you don't gotta do all that. It's just really about like how you piece it together, bro. Maybe my pants do cost like four hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying? But like my shirt can cost like fifteen and my socks could be two dollars. You know what I'm saying? Like 
You don't got you don't, you putting it you you the way you staging it is kind of is kind of fucking up. I'm not gonna lie, the way you staging it, bro. Cause you making it sound like oh, you gotta wear cheap clothes or whatever. I don't think I don't think you're saying it like that. I hope you're not. I'm gonna let you finish though. I hope you're not saying it like that. But some pieces do are, are expensive, bro. If you're trying to look, you know what I'm saying. You're trying to look. I mean, your different way. I'm gonna tell you right now, bro. That's not the case. I didn't see a lot of expensive clothes be ass. For instance, the Balenciaga. Company okay, that's that's fair. Goes black donut shit. Ah. Okay. Or one of my personal favorites, the Medusa. See, the who the fuck made that? Sneakers. Or the Rico's black donut shit. Or one of my personal favorites, the Medusa. Who the fuck made this shit? I'm so sorry for you, sis. They got you in that bullshit, man. Uh-uh. Medusa. See, the key to making a good fit is by matching colors. If the colors of your clothing don't match, it's gonna look bad. Everybody knows that. If you can't match colors, the fit's not gonna work. Like, I've seen some crazy what designer the? fits. Boy. I'm talking $10,000, $15,000 fits. Crazy expensive. I've seen bro. some fits yeah, like that. Right. He works with some thrift store fits that I've seen. All because that nigga who's wearing the thrift store fit knows how to fucking match colors. And also knows which type of colors look good on them. For instance, I'm a black male. Really black. Like, I'm dark as fuck. There ain't no fucking way I can get on camera and wear white shirts. I used to do that. What you mean? What you mean? Okay, wait, 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 wait. What? You can rock a white tee, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm white tee supremacy, bro. I'm rocking that white tee every time, bro. You can't catch me with a black tee. I mean, I'll, I'll rock a black tee. But I got the white tee over the black tee anyway. I ain't gonna lie. The white tee pops more, you feel me? And plus, I sweat hella in the, in the black one, you know what I'm saying? Like, especially now, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel, you feel weird in white tee. I mean, nah, bro, nah, bro, nah, bro. You just gotta know how to pop it, bro. You just gotta know how to like, you feel me? You can't wear it, you can't wear the white tee naked. You always have to wear the white beater under it, bro. I don't understand why niggas don't wear the white beater under it. You gotta wear the white beater under it. Because one, let's say you guys start sweating and shit. You're gonna have sweat stains all over your chest and shit. You know, it's gonna look bad, especially on a white tee. It looks really bad. Like, you sweating and shit on a white tee looks very terrible because this tee's gonna turn yellow and stuff after it dries up. It's not a good look. That's why you wanna get the what? Exactly, bro. I look like fucking Kota Kente. That's why you always see me in black now. And I got the red beanie so it pops out my hair. If I was wearing something like this, I would be cooked. I'll be playing me the whole video. That's simply what you what mean, bro? You straight, is. bro. Oh. You can't really get well, that. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, bro. You gotta know how to wear that shit, bro. You gotta know how to wear that shit, bro. Hey, Lonzo, don't rush me, bro. I'll yank your bottom chin. That boy. Find your style and stick with it. You don't gotta buy all those expensive clothes. Nobody thinks you're cool. They just think you're wasting money. Don't just think if you put on a V-Lone shirt, some purple jeans, and some cum Balenciagas that they... What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? That's, hey, that's an elite scam fit, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna think you ate, bro. I ain't gonna <laughs> think you eat, bro. Oh, you, bro. Just like tip number four. OnlyFans is safer than Pornhub, but Pornhub is way more secure. So I've been watching a lot. <laughs> fuck, fuck the buddy. Just, hold on. Oh, right there. I ain't gonna think you eat, bro. Oh, thank you, bro. Just like team number four. OnlyFans is safer than Pornhub, but Pornhub is way more secure. So I've been watching a lot of Pornhub videos recently. Now, I mean, I'm gonna let you cook. Pornhub in the porn industry. And the reason why I'm watching it is because my chat keeps going ask me to react to these type of videos. I'm not just doing this. Okay, stuff. okay, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But as I've been watching these videos, the more and more do I realize how bad some porn stars got and how just corrupt and horrible the porn industry is. A lot of these Explain. girls be getting tricked and abused. You might be thinking they're enjoying themselves in their films, but honestly, they're just drugged out of their mind and they don't even really know what's going on. That's why I feel like. What? Safe by working in the industry, you're independent, which means you can control your own hours and control who you're. So you telling is is bro trying to tell me to switch to OnlyFans, bro? Listen, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Listen, I slowed down. 
I'm trying to, I'm really slowing down on the, yeah you know I mean? So, I'm never, first off, I'm never touching OF a day in my life, bro. I'm never touching that, bro. I'm keeping that 100, bro. Maybach music. I ain't never touching Maybach. that shit, you feel me? But I will go to the Reddit ski. You know what I'm saying? I will go to Reddit. If you know, you know. I will go to Batty Hub. I will go to X in the next. I will go to X videos. I will go to Spank Bang. I will, I, you know what I'm saying? I'll go to my other options. OnlyFans, the site, no go. Right. It is just a way safer environment to do sex work. But the thing a lot of people don't realize about OnlyFans is unless you already have a social media platform or a good following on social media. Oh yeah, that's the thing, bro. Yeah, you gotta. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't just. You can't just expect to pop up off OnlyFans, bro. That's a crazy way. That's a crazy startup, by the way. Bro. I'm just saying. To blow up on OnlyFans. But OnlyFans isn't only sex though. It isn't only that though. It's like fucking sex work. If I want to just no, I can just go to porn. No, no. You see, you're making it weird, bro. I mean, yeah, it is majority sex work and all that. But, like, hey, Boogie had an OnlyFans. You know what that was? That was for, like, giving music game and shit, bro. Like, it's not always that, but, like, I guess. I guess. Videos. Why am I watching you? Just because you're the biggest hoe in your area doesn't mean niggas will buy your shit. Most likely, you end up getting leaked anyway. So no facts. Shout out to Reddit. <laughs> Shout out to Reddit, for real. Just ask me if you is the biggest scammers in the world. Yo, you know what's so crazy? I was just talking to my friends about this, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Cause I was like, bro, I it might, it might be me getting old. I ain't gonna lie. I said to myself, I said, bro, I ain't gonna even upgrade the phone this year, bro. I said, like, it's just it's no point, bro. Like, all the iPhones coming out are looking the same and shit, like. I'll just stick to my fucking 13 mini, bro. Like, I'll just keep my shit in my pocket, you know what I'm saying? I do my thing, what I gotta do, what I gotta do. It doesn't, it don't, it doesn't change nothing for me, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, having a new phone constantly every time, bro, don't change nothing for me, bro. And like, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. Like, niggas be so, niggas be so caught up in that little, in that little, I just gotta have the new thing, ah. Bro, when you actually, like, look at it, bro, it's like, there's barely any difference, bro. And there's barely anything I'm going to really, like, use that shit. That shit is hard, though. Some of the things, they do be trying to get me with the commercials, bro. It do be hard. But, like, I just don't fall, bro. Do you know how much I hate this fucking company? But you, but no other company can put out the same product every single year and niggas still line up to get this shit every single year besides Apple. Yeah, like the chokehold that <laughs> Apple has is fucking crazy. And like they don't even try to hide it either, bro. Like all they do is change the design of the camera. And we all just go crazy. And they do like Apple little extra widgets, bro. This but they do that on the update, bro. Scamming us. Why am I paying? thousands of dollars for the same thing i bought three years ago and the worst part about it is that i can't even do nothing about it bro y'all see i got an iphone in my hand the reason why is because people will bully you if you have anything else but an iphone how the fuck is that, that possible if i show up to school in a samsung that's a bro, different type of bullying bro that's a my different head. level of bullying bro school naked, i'm gonna get the same type of treatment and they do the i same. think i think it would be it would be way better to get bullied over like the shoes that you wear Rather than your phone, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Cause once that shit, like, for, I remember I had like Android back in middle school, bro. And I had to pull that shit out of my pocket one day, bro. Y'all already know how this shit about to go. I pulled out my pocket, slipped out my hand, cue the Lego sound. <sighs> it's just, it's just, it's just batteries and 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 SD cards all over the floor. You know, it looks terrible. Um, screen didn't crack though, that's a plus, but it just looked messy, and you know the host was laughing at me. Um, the bros that wasn't the, really the bros, they were just there laughing at me too. Um, teachers just looking at me like, pick up the damn phone, like it's not that deep. Whole time I'm about to cry, I'm like run out the classroom right now, but I had to tee up, you know what I'm saying? I had to lock in. Same 
same thing with all of their products. They do the same thing with the iPad. They do the same thing with the MacBook. They do the same thing with the AirPods. They do the same thing with the Apple Watch. Nigga, tell me the difference from an Apple Watch Series 2 and an Apple Watch Series 4. Nothing but the fucking design. And the worst part about yeah, the 32 right. is... They I mean, I've never bought an Apple Watch, though. product that costs over $1,000, which I know it don't cost that much to make, nigga. You made that shit in fucking yeah. Taiwan. It probably cost you only $20 to make that Damn, shit. Right. I know you understand the employees. Don't, Why don't you put that shit? Nothing. But they'll give you this overpriced ass product. Nah, it's facts. I think that shit costs like I think that shit costs like one twenty to make. I think he just sold the stat up there. I didn't catch it, but I think it does cost like one hundred, like one twenty to make in China, and they just overpriced the hell with that shit. Give me the utensils you need to make the product work. Why the fuck do I got an iPhone? As a oh, oh, the the iPhone? Power to charge that shit. That's a P gift though. That like you can't, you can't, you can't go wrong with that with a gift yeah, of the, uh, the iPhone's a gift, you know. Buy some new ones. Don't